everybody, and welcome to another episode of Joe and Al Play Kerbal Space Program. I'm Joe. I'm Al. And last week, we ran into some trouble with our docking program, or our thing that we were going to put up in the orbit of the moon. Uh, fortunately, right before we started recording this, we got a helpful comment on YouTube from our Lord and Savior, Dr. Gonzo. Um <laughs> about the best way to put our relay satellites in the orbit of the moon he wants us to do four of them on the same rocket in other words get all of our relays up surround like coating the moon yes so i think we're gonna make a satellite and then save it as a component and then slap it on the outside of whatever rocket we do how does that sound to you okay good sounds good i like how you're going with the we are not, we're not messing around with anything else <laughs> ever again. This is a gold standard. It is literally gold. Yes. Okay, we want to put uh, some engines on this, some very, very efficient engines like the Twitches, I guess, or maybe the Spark. We just want it to be able to, we want it to maneuver in the yeah. orbit of the Mun. Obviously, we're going to need some solar powers. Let's do two. Yes, that way <laughs> we can't block our own solar panels no matter what. I don't think. It maybe could. I don't know if like if it's facing directly onto the sun, I don't know if it works as well. They can still rotate. They'll get something. Possibly. Uh, we also want some batteries. Oh, uh, yeah? Which, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Trying to figure out which one's the most expensive. You can just slap this one on the bottom here. Or on the top, really. Doesn't matter. Correct. Um, so we've got an engine. We've got solar panels. We uh, The whole reason for this is that we want to have an say, antenna. Yes. <laughs> Where's our relay antenna? This thing is a relay antenna, or this one is? Which one's more expensive? That I'm one! Looking. Yep, okay. The finest Albert's money you can buy. That's probably too many. <laughs> I think we can do with one. I don't think the direction it's pointing I matters. I don't think so either. I mean, in real life it would, but I hope that Kerbal's not modeling this that closely. I don't think it is. Um. What else do we need? We're going to have to get there. So the the, uh, the rocket should launch a cluster of these. We're going to have, what, about four? Pew, 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 pew. Yes. Into a, a, pol a polar orbit of the moon. A, wa a big old orbit, obviously, um, because these Rayleigh antennas have a reasonable amount of range, and as long as we have line of sight to the satellite, everything will be good. Right? I think so. Okay. If we can have them just... Uh, yeah. We have four... That should be good. Yeah. yeah. Now this has a thousand electric charge. I want to double check. This one uses sixty-eight electric charge per second. Mm -hmm. When transmitting. When transmitting, right? Hmm. That's weird. Well, it's just made to bounce things about off. It doesn't have a. Well, I'm just wondering if this is on the dark side. On the dark side. And I'm wanting to use it. Well, maybe. Hopefully, I guess that's why we're going to do more than one. Yes. Hard, be... One of many reasons why we're doing more than one. Drag and drop a part here to save it as a subassembly. The selected yeah. part is not attachable. We need to have what? a girder maybe on it. Oh, okay. All right, Mr. Fancy Man. Want some girders on there? Got some girders for your girdle. I'm a little bit... Are you worried about the center of mass here? No. I'm not looking at the ship. I'm looking at the Google. I'm worried that it would... It's not going to thrust way off. I, I was worried that this would throw the... Uh, Oh, Lord like no. the weight of one of these would be gr much greater than the other, but this looks fine. Well, the or the reaction wheel and the probodyne is going to control that. Well, you don't want to if it's fi endlessly fighting that. It's not a great look. No, no, that's true. The selected part is not attachable. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> have you tried changing the root root part? The last of no, the four I have buttons not. next to the pieces list. There we go. I got it. I rerouted the, th the part. How'd you do that? I did, did the reroute thing that you told me to with this tab over here. Oh. I just clicked on some things and it was like, okay. And then it turned <laughs> it on its side for some reason, <laughs> which is, I can deal with that. I think. Um, I like the other, way. the other sub assembly we have is dumb connector. Okay. So we're going to build a big rocket. I got okay. yelled at on Reddit. The, no, not on. Didn't get yelled at. I got downvoted because someone had put in the today I learned. That the VAB at NASA, or down in Cape Canaveral, I guess, is so big it has its own weather that can form clouds. Yeah. And according to the book Apollo, that's just a persistent myth. 
and I said that, and people didn't like that. What did you, Joe? You can't just be squashing people's sense of wonder yes, with your facts, <laughs> jerk. Why? Why would? Why do you hate people? Yeah. So we're gonna put our pieces on the outside of this. This is going to be sort of our main thruster. What kind of engine are we gonna use? On here, I guess the poodle or the something really efficient because we want to make sure that this is the part that's going to sort of launch us towards the mun. So we're out of atmosphere. Right. Are we circularized? I I hope so. <laughs> Check. This is a big old tank. If it if we're not, mm -hmm. and the all, the t satellites all have their own own individual individual engines. Although we're hoping to sort of get them orbiting the yeah, mun as a group. No. <laughs> Correct. Um, we don't have any uh, mods, so I have no idea what the Delta V on this is. Oh, we turned off the mods because we didn't know why our yeah. ship was haunted last week. So we just need to build it real big. Is the thing. <laughs> I, that didn't even click when you said that. Oh, God. <laughs> just going to build it. It's not like we have 100% success rate with the mods. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I just feel like we're... Okay. We don't even know if we have the... We don't even know if we can lift off. That's correct. Wow. We have no idea if we'll even have... This is like early days. Seriously. How do That's people a... do this without that mod? You gotta turn that mod back on. This is... No, not... You told me to turn that mod off. I said test mods to see if you could recreate the problem. I was not able to. We're just gonna build so many engines. Look, we've got the Rhino here. Or do we want to do? There's the Rhino, or there's the Super Buster. Let's go with the Super Buster. Is that thing actually called the Super Buster? No, it's not called the Super Buster. <laughs> <Are you> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. <sighs> um, and then I have a feeling this is not gonna be enough to lift off but we're gonna try I have anyway. a feeling you're hitting that thing where you are just lifting up extra fuel that you need to lift up extra fuel oh well we're gonna auto strut at least yes where's our thing at it's over here grab this bad boy out of here okay <laughs> guys <just laughs> we, want... you don't need that many no I don't I need four. We got to put a detacher on here. A detacher. Yeah. Well, now they're just floating magically. I think that the game will work with that, but let's try not to. Okay. Um. So we're good, right? Let's just you check our staging antenna. Here. I mean, are we bringing this thing back? No, I guess not. No. <laughs> it does probably. Well, probably could use like a battery or five. It'll pull from these batteries, right? If we I extend so. these solar panels, this it'll all route through to there. I think so. Until we're ready. I, sure. I hope. Yeah. We've also got these antennas, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. I think. We'll find out. We're going to have some kind of problem with this. Let, might as well launch it and see what it's going to be. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, I want my place tool. Let's make sure our auto struts are all on. And these guys, too. Just everything. Auto strut. Everybody. Actually, let's go with root part. Sure. Okay. And save that. Let's see. Relay. Sats. Save and launch. Well, oh wait, here we go. We're good. What did you do? I just had the, uh, I don't know why, it starts with throttle down. I think that's a setting that I could have toggled off. Anyway. Oh, yeah. This is fine. Mm-hmm. We probably should have put some fins on this or something. <laughs> oh, my God, you can't control it. I've got swivel on the engines now. Let's not be hyperbolic. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm throttling down here. Okay, so at eight, what is it? It's eight too much, which we are already uh, yep. over two. <laughs> I've, I'm at zero on my big engine. Yeah, however the thrusters are about to go to. <laughs> I want to make sure. 
Okay. They're gonna full power that bad boy. Yes! We have no idea what our periapsis or apoapsis or anything is right now. Nope. I guess we, I mean, I wonder if we have we an engineer on board see. with that. Yeah, I guess it's this crazy way. I know engineers give you more information, I just forget what information. We're still gaining. So that's good. Yep. There was a fear that without the boosters, we'd just... Oh, I did. I was not afraid of that. Was that something you feared? Should have said something, Joe. I could have, <laughs> I could have put those fears to rest. <laughs> I'm waiting to get up in a sort of dark atmo before I really... Oh, I was uh, on the wrong keys there. Were you really what? Oh, turn. Yeah. I think I we're probably better fuel. Feeling great. It's an interesting way of got, finding it. Probably got like this whole stage to circularize, and then this stage to get us to the moon. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. There is no building like overbuilding, sir. And where our app is out of atmosphere, we're just going to probably let that burn um, all the way to the end. Really get us ni nice and high. We are out. Dropping that. Just kicking that one. Let's go horizontal here. Crazy. What if this works flawlessly the first time? What if it does? You'll be you'll be amazed. Yeah. I know. Yes. Should we go ahead and extend some solar panels? Yes. Just in case. You see the new uh, Netflix show Lost in Space? No. It's pretty good. Really? I just have no faith in anything Lost in Space-ish. The show has oh. zero interest for me. <laughs> okay. The movie well. was apparently horrible, although it looked pretty bad. I think it's. I mean, it's like I, I saw a lot of people who were sort of like, "Oh, I don't know, man." It is like a family-friendly sort of. It's not. They didn't. They went darker probably than like the original edition, but it wasn't like. They're not dropping f bombs and, you know, killing characters off every other episode. It's. It's pretty safe. It's just sort of got more like. The mom and dad fight quite a bit, and they were about to get a divorce before they left Earth. There's a little bit more nuance to the characters. They have a gender flip Dr. Smith that's pretty cool. She's like, she's not actually a doctor. She stole the uniform from a guy, like, as they were, as the ship they were on was breaking apart. Got all of those uh, RCSs working together. What? Well, so we don't have any, R we have all of those control pods, so I think they'll all fire RCS. We don't have RCS. Not RCS, uh, SAS. My bad. Right. Con reaction wheels. They're very relatively small reaction wheels, but... Yeah, four of them. Yeah. So and there okay. is a just fairly go to the moon. Soon, which we can do in just a few minutes here. This is... Uh, all right, I'm going to... Yeah, don't jinx it, man. I didn't say I am going to quick save, though. <laughs> can you spot what we've missed? Because we sure can't. <laughs> And we have antennae. That's, That's pretty true. obvious. I'm just going to burn it out here. Burn it out with Bernadette. Burn it out with Bernadette. Yeah, it's a... Live at what? five. On radio <laughs> news station. She gives fire advice. Fire safety warnings. Oh, yeah. It's also... It, it doubles up as a exercise uh, thing. Will this work? Will it work? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that broke apart. Agreed. All right, so here's our periapsis. That's at 1 million. That's probably pretty good. Sure, sure. So how do we do this? How do we get, get them scattered in different... Hmm. Hello, Mon. We just need to have some of them go into lower orbit for a little bit. Oh, then circularize the same. So circularize using this guy. Right, right, right. We're actually going to be out this satellite thing is going to be out of uh, the influence of carbon for a little bit right here what? it's going to be out of the influence of carbon it's going to pass behind the moon 
Oh, influence. That's not influence. <laughs> You're correct. The radio... Whatchamacallit? Communications. That's correct. It turns out the words that you use to say a thing. Nope. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so here's my plan. Okay. We've got quite a bit of left fuel left in here. Let's pop two of these bad boys off. All right, and then... Why two? What? Why because two? we're going to take the other two to the opposite side. And then we can do sort of the fine-tuning later. Okay, I want to see... I, I, I was starting to think this through, so let's just do your plan and see what happens. Now we want to burn retrograde... A little bit more. Wait till we're about opposite of the other satellites and then push it back out, right? Yeah. But what about the wide two at one spot? Well, we're going to split them apart even more, but just to save fuel. I was going to say, why not do one at a time? Is what I was thinking. Oh, I was worried about it being off balance. Oh, in space? Yes. Center of gravity is still a thing even outside of gravity. You have never worried about this Center of ever. mass. You had one ship that does cartwheels uncontrollably until it explodes. And suddenly you're worried about center of balance. I don't think I've ever seen you hit that button if we're not doing, like, trying to figure out where the thrust needs to go for RCS. Okay, we're going to get right about here and then it won't be exactly opposite, but we'll burn out right there. I'll go ahead and break one of these off. And then you said you wanted to do just uh try to try it with just one of these. Let's see see how uh how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and extend this other solar panel now. That's a good idea. I think we got at least one on all the satellites, I hope anyway. <laughs> it looked like they all were out. Flipping it back around. Got so much fuel right now. Well, <laughs> we have overbuilt that rocket. <laughs> this guy doesn't even need to decouple, right? Technically, no. I guess not. That's pretty close. To what? To having sort of a triangle going here. If we get these guys separated out. Yes, we'll have... it is. I just don't understand how we ended up with a triangle. Yeah, see how notice how we didn't go straight because of how off center that was? That's not what just happened. <laughs> yes it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it pull. That's because we're not burning at prograde or, per, or periapsis or apiapsis. Apiapsis. No, you Yes. No. No. <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay. We got egg shaped because we're burning at an odd point. How many times has you played this game and you think that you're off? Hey, you were the one who said it didn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does. No, it doesn't. That's not why we're going egg-shaped. I. That's why we're pulling way to the left. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I just can't. I don't know where to start. <laughs> you could fix that by using the circularized. The... It's just... It's just... Do what now? Oh no, it's going egg shape. The because fact of that our... we're burning No, I'm not talking about the egg shape. I'm talking about the fact that we're not burning straight. We have to fight our engine every time. Oh wow. We got out of uh, <laughs> orbit. We burned too much. There we go. Alright, that's, that's probably good. That's hard that whole cost. What's your what's your problem? This is so bad. <sighs> It's fine. I'm not going to look at it. Now we got this, right? Oh. Now we're good. Why is it spinning us around? <laughs> I don't know. This is the problem. There's Last not time. even RCS on. <laughs> Nothing's on. And it's just spinning us around. I, this was built with input from you, I'd like to point <laughs> I out. I know, and I hate it. <laughs> also, we're out of, you know, electric charge. <laughs> right, because oh, we save money on batteries, too. That's right. I forgot about that. So, are we just going to admit defeat with this bad boy? I hate this thing. Yes. <laughs> right, well, let's Crash give it to the, the moon. Let's burial it deserves. Well, now our, also our docking station is apart from the other thing. That's fine. <laughs> okay. 
But at least turn on RCS and let it spin. It doesn't have any power. I can't do anything to it right oh, now. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. One last time. The RCS monster <laughs> fades into... <laughs> Anyone can tell us what happened with this thing. You're not no, hitting by anything. By the way, Are nope, you? I'm not. I Look just turned it on. Look at the way they're firing. Look at that. By the way, I'm turning off <laughs> locked view because that's the worst right now. <laughs> Look at that. They're, one's firing. That one's firing the right. That one's... Yeah, it's, it's basically just designed to spin in a circle. Let, let's just do this. What is wrong with this thing? We. Uh, like the fact way. that we can fix it occasionally it does not change the fact that it's basically unusable. Yeah. I didn't know we could fix it occasionally. Well, going to the tracking station and resetting. Saves, fixes the RCS? Every time we've turned on RCS, it does this, right? No. Oh. Just after warping. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of stars. Are we headed towards the moon? I don't even know. You want me to go to map view? <sighs> we crashed it last time because yeah, I know, but... Whatever nonsense. Fire some engines, too. Just okay. <laughs> just make some. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. Sure. Doing something. I don't. I don't know what. I listen. The point of this episode was to get satellites up. To get satellites up, and what did we do? We get satellites up. Uh huh. And then this Nobody thing, can say this we did. nightmare of a ship it's never really crash. existed. This was just a mass hallucination. Yes, for the last four episodes or so. <laughs> you guys have all the just been crazy. The docking board, which is... No, oh, it's separated from the miner again. It annoys me that you can't, like, the recording of this records one frame at a time, and each discrete frame looks fine. Uh, but played all on top of each other, it looks insane. I had to actually, <laughs> like, Photoshop manip- Whoa! It, it lost track of where the parts were. I had to Photoshop manipulate the thing so people could tell it was spinning in the thumbnail last time. Oh, I man. I love when it, yeah, when it just, all it's the parts just, are floating separately from it. Can't I forgot about this. Take it. Are we warping this, two for fun? No. Oh. I'm trying to turn off. There, Pull up. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh no. Pull up, converter piece. Pull Look up. Look at the stars. They're spinning. <laughs> <laughs> They're in danger of crashing. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting sick. <laughs> we have your wife here, converter piece. She wants to say hello. <laughs> Decadent. This is Decadent. drowned control to maze and Tom. <laughs> I must spin into the moon. We really haven't made the grade. <laughs> no, 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 no. That also makes my head. It looks like a sombrero. It does kind of, yeah. And we can warp. Oh, Ooh. great. Are you kidding me? To yeah, warping moon. always stops yeah, I guess rotational. Yeah, it shuts everything off. That's right. Boing! Ice! Woo! Nice! Look at it go! It's still okay! <laughs> it's still okay, it's still okay! He has a good distance on that first bounce. <laughs> he's got a lovely setup to the hole. Oh, he's gonna be happy with that one. <laughs> I wonder if they actually... Because they went golfing on the moon, right? They must have, yes. like... Probably wasn't very good. I think assuming he How far did they... Distance. Yeah, I would think that it'd be difficult to swing in that big spacesuit, though. Yes, but like a, the smallest amount of... I'll see how far... I'll go on moon. How far will go on moon? <laughs> <laughs> Nearly two and a half miles. Yeah, yeah, you could do that on Earth with a good swing, right? I don't know anything about golf. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it's 300 yards or so. Yeah, 350. Sayonara, you high. sucker! Huh. Okay. So tune in next week when we <laughs> rebuild actually the build middle converter piece. A converter, yeah. And pay very, very, very strict attention to how we're attaching the RCS things. And, well, the, how they were attached wasn't, I don't think, the problem, but I who don't. knows what the problem is. Yes. And we're going to build, a, we're going to have a really nice RCS on this one. Yes. It's going to be so good. <laughs> and. We're Big batteries. 
Some big, giant batteries. The best batteries. <laughs> We're going to have some big, beautiful batteries. <sighs> Goodbye. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Don't forget, you can be a Patreon for this series. You can help us make these terrible, terrible creations uh, by going over to patreon.com slash human echoes. Uh, it helps us out, and you get access to them a week early if that's something you're interested in. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Or in the next couple weeks is how this works now. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>